something different this time. So I thought I'd do an episode on volcanic lightning, which is quite spectacular if you ever get to see it. I haven't, um, but the images are amazing. Now, not every volcanic eruption will produce lightning. It's been observed and recorded for generations, though. But with our modern understanding of physics, we can finally understand why volcanic lightning happens. Now, the first recorded instance of volcanic lightning was over 2,000 years ago on Mount Vesuvius. But today, volcanologists strive to discover more about these powerful electrical bursts. However, the hazards of being too close to an erupting volcano, particularly its ash cloud and smoke, make volcanic lightning difficult to observe because you need the ash cloud, as you will see. It appears to occur most frequently around volcanoes with huge ash plumes, particularly during the very active stages of the eruption, where the flowing molten lava creates a large temperature gradient. Now, scientists think the lightning precludes the most intense stage of a volcanic eruption, as the dust particles are supercharged with heat and static electricity. Lightning bolts serve as an advance warning for the deadly lava waves ahead. And the lightning bolts within the ash cloud create spectacular blazing arcs in all directions. But at an estimated temperature of 17,000 degrees C, volcanic lightning bolts are as deadly as they are beautiful to see. Well, the phenomena of volcanic lightning has been observed and exquisitely recorded on the photographs you can see around a number of recent volcanic eruptions, including Iceland's, now apologies in advance for pronunciation of Etiafiatliakilt, uh, Japan's uh, Sakuriyama, Mount Etna in Italy, and various Chilean volcanoes. But it was also, as you can see on this wartime photo, captured during a an eruption of Mount Vesuvius back in 1944. So, why does it happen? Well, each lightning strike is the exchange of about a thousand electrons. You may be used to atoms being neutral with the equal number of electrons as there are protons in their nuclei, but heat and friction make it surprisingly easy for the atoms to gain or lose electrons, transferring them into ions. Well, at the temperatures that volcanoes achieve, it's highly energised and extremely favourable for an atom to become ionised, where it will either pick up or lose um, an electron or two or three. Now, if you separate the ions from each other, you create a separation of charge, which creates a voltage. And when the voltage between the two regions becomes too great, and that's when you see a flash of lightning. So let's look at it in a bit more detail. So we start with an abundance of positive and negative ions. The combination of heat, typical volcanoes, temperatures about 1500 Kelvin, and the diverse composition of what's unearthed by the volcano ensures a significant fraction of particles coming out of it are not neutral. Electrons are relatively easily kicked off some molecules and picked up by others. The hotter a volcano is, the more violent the eruption, the greater this happens and the greater the likelihood of volcanic lightning. So we separate the negative charges from the positive ones. There are also significant mass differences between the different atoms and molecules, which is important because giving the same amount of energy to a lighter particle means it moves faster. And finally, there's also the temperature gradient, where the particles coming out at the bottom of the volcano have a much higher temperature than the ones that have risen up into the atmosphere some time. A large enough amount of this separated charges, they flow on their own, they create a lightning bolt. So separated large numbers of charges create a voltage difference. And if you have a large enough difference over space containing any material, air, dust, you get an electrical discharge, which is your lightning strike. And that's it. The process is very simple. Combine all the correct conditions, ions start moving in different average of speeds across a temperature gradient, and that's the recipe for charge separation. Get a large enough charge separation over the correct distance and you get a lightning strike. And that is the origin 
of stunningly beautiful volcanic lightning. 